Greetings, comrades. This is Another Gaming Caleb back with part 8. Wait, no, part 9 of Buddha Rush Overkill. Episode 32, Hellbound. And for the music choice, we're going to be doing something a little different. I mentioned in the previous video I was playing this game called Strafe. And it's, it's an awesome game. Check it out. It's a first person shooter roguelike. It has like vibes of Doom and Quake in it. You know, definitely check it out. It's an awesome game. The soundtrack's awesome too. I highly suggest you check get the soundtrack too. In fact, that is what we're going to be playing. It's by Toy Tree. So this is going to be uh, interesting. Tonight. And I turn up the volume a little bit because honestly, the music's not that uh, loud. All right, let's, get, let's begin the slaughter again, shall we? You know what, let me, uh, change the... Let's do this one. I like this song. Doomed. In a way, it kind of fits, you know, since we're playing Doom. Whoa, pretty cool. Broken toy, that's my nice touch. Alright, here's some hell light. Yeah, definitely check out Strength, it's an awesome game. You like roguelikes, you like classic first person shooters, you like blood, lots and lots of blood, definitely check it out. And the level's not quite as much as we do, but you know, it's there. Update, um, I recently uploaded a video on my secondary channel for Proteus. I just got the case today. NZXT Phantom 410. And I, I've been checking out this, uh, what's that called? PCPartsPicker.com where other people like show their PC builds and whatnot. Um, I checked the builds for, uh, Phantom 410 with the uh, Fantex core I got, and it fits in the case perfectly from what I've seen. From the looks of it, uh, also they only use like two sticks of RAM. I'm about to see what I can do, uh, squeeze all four sticks in, and I'm gonna place the core on it. If it doesn't fit, then I'll just use two sticks, which in a way, it, it'll still be nice. You know, 16 gigs is more than enough RAM for what I need. 32 gigs would be overkill at this point. And hey, something happens to those two RAM sticks. I have two spares. Let's turn on the music just a little bit. That should be good. And then turn down. Alright. Yeah, check out Strafe. I come across a lot of cool games on Steam, you know. These are the kind of games that I wish were on Xbox. Part of the reason why I switched to PC, there's so many other games that I normally don't see on consoles or probably never be on consoles for whatever reason. I don't say consoles are bad or anything, but you know, there's a lot of people can agree, you know, PC games are much better than console gaming. Games are cheaper, you get a larger selection of games. Build your PC right, it can be future proof, so you don't have to upgrade every five or six months. As some companies are having to leave, which is not true at all. I believe Review Tech USA mentioned that uh, you can get a GTX 460, an old 2009 graphics card, and still play a mass majority of the games out there. Let me uh, 
uh, change the song real quick. Um, was it this? Yeah, it's this one. This is actually the first level music for uh, Strafe. The music you heard earlier is for the second uh, level. Especially if it's paying homage to the 90s. You know, because the art style of Strafe definitely reminds me of, like, it's like Quake 2 and, and I guess in a way, Doom. Basically, you know, 90s first person shooters. That's what he's trying to pay homage to. Boy, does it succeed. I'm playing that. Mind you, it is a roguelike, so if you die, then you have to start over. Let's enjoy roguelikes, so you know, no two playthroughs are alike, so if you try something different, and they all be different. You never know what you're gonna get. Okay, so I got here. I just want to hear this song. As soon as I get the parts, the motherboard at least, I'm gonna start putting things together. Uh, just to get the general foundation of the PC out of the way. So I'll be right there and we'll see what will be done. I'll have to find some time off to do it though. Because PC building, as easy as it may be seen, is still a rather time consuming process. 
Alright, sorry about that minor interruption. I there's a minor problem with our cable box, but it seems to be fixed now. So anyway... I thought that switch in. Oh, comrade, I suppose we don't have this yet. Let's use this bad boy. Argue with a Gatling grenade launcher. So, not here yet. Excalibant. I think what make this better is we get another super weapon. So, you stay in your little spawn hole, did you? Now I need to figure out where we're supposed to go. I'm not sure what that switch to. Is there a here we haven't explored yet? It just takes me back over here, okay. What does that switch do? Try it again. I didn't see anything raise or anything. Hear anything? I'm right, back to this zone here. Oh, that's this area. Red key. I haven't listened to the whole soundtrack yet, but this, so far this is my favorite song. Yeah, I played Strafe, uh, you can choose one of three starting weapons. And you can get other weapons along the way, albeit you, well, you can't really build the ammo for those. You can build like an assault rifle, sort of plasma gun of sorts. There might be some more weapons along the way, I have to keep playing to find out. Yeah, once 
take out the parts. I think I'm getting some custom decals for my computer. I need to find a good sec that does those kind of things. I'm gonna get a text. I got some future futuristic font that says Proteus. I'm gonna get a couple of those. I'm gonna get like a NZXT a decal that I'm gonna put in the inside glass. I can find a good uh, like logo or decal or something. Oh, well, maybe some slightly better progress here. Fortress of Ages. Previous videos I'm doing like what two, two levels per video. There we go. You know what? This map reminds me of a map from the. Okay. For those who played uh, the Xbox 360 version of Doom 2, it had an exclusive episode called No Rest for the Wicked. This map here kind of reminds me of that, because you have this wide open area, and there's like a fortress, like, front. Not fortress, but like, structure. Yeah, it sort of reminds me of that. I'm surprised nobody's made a... No one's tried to port No Rest for the... Oh, not, not No Rest for the... No Rest for the... No. Oh, it's Norris for the living, not Norris for the wicked. But it's actually a pretty decent episode. You know, that last level can be really hard, especially if you're playing on ultra violence. It's got bullet upgrade, but where's shotgun shell upgrade? That's what I really want. Bonk. Yeah, strafe, get this, the price of strafe is 1996. It's a reference to the, uh... I'm not sure it's a research, the you know, the, uh... The surge of first-person shooters, because Doom came out a few years before. In 1996, around the time Quake 1 came out, I believe. And Quake 2 came out a few years later. What's that? Oh, just ammo. More ammo. I don't need ammo. I got plenty of ammo. I could use another, uh... Super weapon, though. I don't think they have any on hand, though. Yeah, I still blow them up. Voodoo Master. Now, let me change the music real quick. Um... Black King. Sort of a western vibe here. I'll use another one of these. Well, imagine how much more smooth this run is. That's probably 60 gigs of RAM. I find it. Okay. I'll try the base clock first, then I'm gonna try to overclock it. I can do it in increment instead of going straight up to 4 point gigahertz or whatnot. I'll see how well it performs on the stock cool or stock uh you know clock speeds. Overclocked or not, it's still gonna be a far cry from my 760k. It's still a good process, if you're gonna play like Fallout 4 or Space Hulk Deathwing or hell even Minecraft, you're gonna want something that's a little stronger. Just Make sure I don't die. I actually find a sequence, I might actually find another super weapon, but Guru Mass is more than enough now. Maybe we'll come across another? Hey, it is what it is.
All right, I'm back. Sorry, another issue with our cable box. Well, box is. Well, two of them still work fine, but the other two, the menu wouldn't pop up or anything like that. One of the channels, or the one in my living room, wouldn't work for some reason, so I have to replace the boxes soon. Not right now, you know, it's not an urgency or anything. Anyway, let's get back to it. The technology is supposed to be quite easier. That was Reiki, I was hoping for the Wookie. Jeez, there's a Wookie door right there. Longest uh, episode yet. So I can't open that. It's back up here. How am I to get that key? Can I shoot that. that. Alright, no 
Okie dokie door. I guess I'm almost least to the exit because I already killed most of the monsters. I'm actually going to stop the video here. Um, yeah, this is going to be a long episode. Though not as long as previous... Not as long as Chillax, certainly, but definitely going to be a long one. But, you know, we only have six more maps to go, so I'll wager at least two more videos. So, we'll see how that goes. This is, uh, part... One second. Yeah, this is part nine. <laughs> Uh, lost track, because so much stuff going on, you know. My brain can process it all. But yeah, part 9 of Brutal Russian Overkill, episode 32, Hellbound. I want to wager at least two more videos till this uh, episode's over. And this is Armageddon Caleb, signing out.